Hi friends, welcome back to new video. In this video, I am sharing to you the details of how to replace or remove the imaging drum of HP Laser MFP 179FNW model printer. HP 179FNW model printer is one of the latest model multifunctional laser printer from HP brand. It has print, scan, copy, fax, automatic document feeder, network printing and wireless printing functions. If you are a new viewer of this channel, like and subscribe this channel and click on the bell button to receive a notification of new uploaded videos. This channel is based on printer information and many videos have already been uploaded about the latest printer unboxing and printer features. Also, we are uploading videos of refill cartridges of different models. For remove or replace the imaging drum, first step, turn off the printer and then disconnect the power cord from the wall socket or power strip. You must disconnect the power cord before reaching inside the printer to avoid risk of injuries or electric shock. Okay. First, open the toner carriage access door. Then grasp each side of the toner carriage and then pull out the toner carriage to remove it. Repeat the step to remove all the toner carriages. Set each toner carriage aside. Next, remove the toner collection unit. Carefully set the unit aside on a flat, solid surface to avoid spilling the waste toner. This is the imaging drum of this printer, number 120A. For remove the imaging drum, grab this area on the imaging drum and pull out the imaging drum. The imaging drum helps finalize the printing process by transferring the image or text to the paper. When you prepare new imaging unit, or replace with new imaging unit message displaying on the printer control panel. Replace the imaging drum. This is a new imaging drum of this printer. Imaging drum number is 120A or W1120A. This compatible printer models are mentioned on this cartoon. For insert new imaging drum, first remove the imaging drum from its package. Align the new imaging drum with the tracks inside the printer and then push in the imaging drum until it snaps into place. If you have inserted the imaging drum correctly, reinsert the toner collection unit. Avoid tilting or turning the unit to prevent spilling the waste toner. After then, reinstall the toner carriages one by one. From below, K means black, then cyan. Then magenta, last one, yellow. Insert the toner carriage with the tracks inside the printer. And then push in the toner until it's firmly seated. After you inserted all the toner carriage in the right place, close the toner carriage access door. After then reconnect the power cord to the wall outlet or power strip and then turn on the printer. Please note, if you insert any toner with the wrong position, printer doesn't work. So check again, then close the access door. This video winding up now. If you have any doubts or need to know anything more, you can comment on this video. See you on next video. Thanks friends. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.